I'm Martin Cornforth. I've been a postman in Seaford for 10 years, more or less. And I'm just about to deliver to one of my favourite delivery points. Some days when I've I'm, when I'm been there delivering the mail up here, I come up here two or three times a day. Then. I bring the dog up for a walk in the morning sometimes, then I deliver the mail and then in the evening I'll bring him up again. And it can be different on all those three occasions. I started canoeing down here in 1983-1984 and in those days the barn was very different to what it is now, it was just a storage facility for lots and lots of boats. I started off as, life as a mountaineer really and um, of course you can't do a lot of mountaineering if it's pouring with rain but you can go kayaking. I think when, when I first sort of started going out with a canoe club here, it was just like a group of friends going for a paddle down to the sea or down to the surf or just enjoying the water. Things are much more structured now. Over the years I've coached lots and lots of different people and it's interesting to see that some of the people I coached years and years ago are now sort of the main coaches in the, in the canoe centre. Yeah, I was a member of the club for quite a number of years and then sort of other commitments made, meant I couldn't really give the time to the canoe club anymore. Two um, organisations operate from here. There's the Seven Sisters Canoe Centre, which is run by East Sussex County Council. So the people who work for that are actually paid by East Sussex County Council. And there's also a club called the Seven Sisters Canoe Club, which operates on a Sunday morning and also now one, one of the evenings in the week. And the people who, who operate that are all volunteers. Kayaks were invented by the Eskimos or the Inuits. Theirs were made out of uh, bone and um, skins. But in design they weren't very different to what the ones we've got today really. Slightly longer perhaps. It's not really viable for the, for the canoe centre just to take a couple of people out. But I can, I can do that with just say, a couple of people. Hello, Dad. Hi, Esther. Good day at school? Yeah, it was alright. Ready for to do some kayaking? Yeah. Okay, put your bag down then. Let's talk about the kit. I'm going to start with the head. We've got a helmet to protect your, your head in case if you capsize and there are rocks or something untoward in the water that you might bang your, bang your head on. So, a helmet to protect your head. I'm wearing a buoyancy aid, which obviously keeps you afloat. Also protects you from, again, if, if you're going down a whitewater river, you come out of your belt, this will protect you from the rocks and things as well. It's a bit like armor plating, I suppose. 
I'm wearing this skirt, which is called a spray deck, which fits over the cockpit of the kayak and stops the water from coming in. So that's the, that's the cag for you, that's to protect you from the, um, the water and the wind. Are we doing that turn that, we, that you taught me last time? Yes, we're going to try have okay. a go at that. The, um, at the moment I'm just wearing a pair of wetsuit shorts, but obviously in winter time you'd wear a few more layers than this. And on my feet I've just got a pair of uh, shoes which don't mind getting wet and will stay on my feet and protect them from any sharp rocks or anything that's around in the, in the rivers or in the sea. The plastic ones are much tougher. The other difference that you notice nowadays is that a lot of the kayaks for beginners have these little skegs on the back. When, we, when I first started coaching, beginners would spend a lot of time going round and round in circles. And this is the paddle over here. Um, if you can, if you look at it, you can see that's the blades to these things here. This is the loom, the bit you have your hands on. They're actually set at a different angle, um, so that I'm allowed to paddle here. When you when you when this paddles in the water, this paddle is slicing through the air, and then you have to twist it up in the, in the water. So that, that's doing a job through the water. And I think you need to learn to begin oh. with how to get in and out of the kayak safely and how to get onto the water and off the water. Anybody can do it really. I'll show them how to paddle forward, backwards, how to stop, how to turn, and uh, if they're really keen, how to capsize. Experience is a physical effort and exhilaration of being out there on the water, being in charge of your own kayak.